Hi Aries, welcome to your April bonus reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. So Aries, we're going to take a look at a little bit of love, a little bit of life, could be anything. Uh, love could come out again or work, prayer, finance, whatever we get. And then we'll take a look at uh, messages from spirit, guidance, advice, universal messages, whatever comes out, clarified with tarot. So I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe during this time. Everything you know to, need to know, Aries, is down below in the description box, so please do go check that out. Tons of information down there. And if you're new and would like to subscribe, you get about five readings a month. So if you do, thank you. Don't forget to hit the bell. You won't miss out. All right, so let's see. Aries, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female. It could be past, present, or future. Please only take what resonates and throw away the rest. May not Every simple part and it may not be for everybody. My intention with this is if your monthlies, some of that didn't resonate for you, maybe something here will. All right. So Aries, let's take a look at love. What's going on with Aries for love. Aries and love at this time for this bonus reading. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Aries and love. Let's take that one. And we have Our Lady of the Rose Crown, which is four which is about stability and foundation. So this is the Mother Mary Oracle. So Our Lady speaks as if it's about, you know, Mother Mary. But the rose crown, that means, you know, like the song, Every Rose Has Its Thorn. Though there's something beautiful, a lot of times there's thorns also. So let's see. Bottom of the deck here, we have Our Lady of the Abundant Garden. We have 38, which is 11. And 11 is about being on the right spiritual path, be, being divinely guided and led, or going just going on the right path. And 11 is 2 is about unity of some kind here. So whoever, uh, this could be a significant other. You know, you could be married, long-term relationship. It's very abundant and prosperous, a lot of growth expansion, a lot of value and worth between the two of you. Because we do have rose here in garden. So it could be a lot of fertility also, but you know, there's also rose. So there's bumps and uh, thorns too. So there's bumps in the road, um, like with any relationship. So I feel like it's a very stable relationship, a lot of growth of ab growth and abundance or so the potential for that um, between the two of you. But you know, you have your bumps, bumps in the road every now and then, which is uh, like the thorns in the rose. So, so a little ouch every now and then. So let's see. We're going to clarify all this energy with some tarot. So let's take a look at life for you, whatever we get here. For Aries spirit, please. For the life portion, what do we have for Aries? What do we have for Aries spirit, please? Thank you so much. What do we have for Aries? bonus ring that one here intelligence and I just got this for Leo so intelligence here education knowledge perception flexibility 45 is 9 9 is about almost at the completion or an ending uh, of something here so some of you may be expanding your knowledge going back to school learning something online or just advancing yourself by reading uh, self-help books things like that or perceiving something in a different way, being more open and flexible to do new ideas, different things. Also, could be just reading more. And then on the bottom here, we have pleasure, 10. 10 also is about um, 9, 10. So 10 definitely comes after 9. Again, about endings and cycles and completions, but there's always a new beginning. Enjoyment, beauty, sexuality, and indulgence, pleasure. So maybe indulging yourself in like, <laughs> you know, maybe you just haven't had time to read, you know, like guilty pleasures. Maybe you like to read romance novels or things like that. And you haven't been able to do that. And now with downtime, everybody's in downtime. Uh, you could be just, you know, reading things that give you a lot of pl uh, pleasure, if that makes sense for anybody here. Hmm, okay, so let's get, let's
let's get some messages from the universe, advice, guidance, messages from spirit for you, Aries. For Aries, one more shuffle, please, for this bonus reading. This is April bonus reading for Aries. What do we have for Aries, please? Thank you so much. For Aries. For Aries. I'm feeling this one. Build on solid ground. And count your blessings. I just got that one too. Uh, for Leo, I think. Wow. So I feel like, because we do have the garden here, which is about building its growth, its abundance. So, you know, just make sure whatever you're building, whatever you're doing here, your foundation is strong, it's sturdy, um, and it's solid before you manifest anything forward because it may just collapse. So keep that in mind. But whatever blessings are coming, I think you'll be counting all the blessings that are coming your way here. All right, so... Let's see here. Let's clarify all this energy for you, Aries. And this is a thick deck, and I'm getting repeaters, so. All right. Aries. Let's clarify this energy for Aries. What is this abundant garden? And Our Lady of the Road. Well, the Ten of Cups energy. <laughs> yeah, so you definitely could be in a long-term relationship or with a significant other, marriage, whatever it is for you. Total happiness, joy, fulfillment, happy home and family between two. The Hierophant. So, yeah, definitely could be here uh, a marriage or a long-term commitment being dedicated. Knight of Swords. So, you know, this could be a uh, fast movement. You know, you could have times when you, maybe between the two of you, maybe react too quickly or uh, assume too quickly or, you know, this could be the energy of just kind of like rushing at each other or going at each other, like jabbing each other here with the Knight of Swords kind of energy. The Hangman, which may kind of cause you to go in your own corners for a little while. The Hangman kind of energy. But then you get enlightened here and you're like, okay, I'm sorry, you know, kind of energy. The Fool kind of energy. So I feel with the Knight of Swords and the Fool, sometimes, you know, you do something foolish and then you're like, you know, you, you think about it, you know, you go in your own corners and you think about it and you're like, okay, what the heck did I do that for? And maybe, you know, you just kind of apologize and get over it kind of energy. And it doesn't mean it's anything serious. It could be silly things, um, you know, just regular relationship stuff. I don't think it's anything um, too serious, but we do have the tower here. So, you know, maybe for some it is serious, you know, this can be arguments, uh, shake up, breakups, breakdowns, epiphanies, aha moments, surprises here. So, but we do have the lovers at the bottom. So I think this is an unbreakable bond. You do maybe spat every now and then. Feeling a little beat up sometimes. But it's a very, again, four wands. It's a very stable uh, connection here. Could even be twin flame, but it's very stable because four of wands are very stable home life, a fiery, passionate energy. You know, then maybe, you know, some bickering or not seeing eye to eye at times. But I mean, with the Ten of Cups, the Hierophant, uh, the Lovers, so definitely a strong four of wands, definitely a strong connection here. Um, but I think, you know, whatever battles you've been through, I think you always um, tend to work it out here. Like, it's like you find new ways to nurture the connection. Or maybe you need to find ways to, uh, new ways to nurture the connection here so it can always grow and be prosperous, especially with the abundant garden. Wow, so it's like getting through the, th the roses, <laughs> even though it's just thorns. Every rose has its thorn. Okay. All right, so... Let's see what this pleasure and intelligence is about. The hermit, yeah, we're all kind of in reclusive mode right now um, because of the current situation. Nine of Cups energy, so we do have wish fulfillment. Um, 
wishes and dreams coming true happiness joy what else here with seven of swords energy it's kind of like <clears throat> sneaking away or getting away from something sneaking out of a situation temperance so balance patience balance healing kind of energy I feel like some of you just can't wait to get out. Like Seven of Swords is like, I can't wait to get out of this, you know, hermit mode. I just can't wait so I can do the things that make me happy again. You know, so I can balance myself out again. So I can, uh, now being patient, but be careful of overindulgence here because we do have the two cups and all these cups here can talk of um, overindulgence. And I know that says intelligence, but I looked at it briefly and I saw like indulgence. So be careful. What else here? The 10 of wands. So it's a heavy burden here. Some sort of ending, ending of heavy burdens kind of energy. It's like, you can't, I, I feel like you can't just, just can't wait for this lockdown to be over. Can't wait. But in the meantime, be careful of overindulgence. That's what I'm getting. Nine of Pentacles. So, yeah, just kind of... Some of you could just be working on yourself, you know, in this alone time also. Nine of Pentacles, a very stable energy. Um, having everything you need, being self-sufficient. So I feel like some of you could have everything you need. You're self-sufficient in this, you know, hermit mode we're in right now. But you can't wait to get out of it. And be careful of overindulgence, I'm feeling. So what is this? Build on solid ground and count your blessings. So we have the Page of Cups. It's loving communication of some kind. Or apologies. Or uh, youthful communication of some kind. King of Pentacles. So very stable, grounded energy. King or Queen. All right. And, you know, building solid, building on solid ground is that pentacle energy. It's very stable, secure, it's grounded, uh, it's long-term. All right, so it's slow moving, though. So whatever you've been building, whatever you've been nest egging, uh, saving, or whatever here, um, it's probably been taking a, taking a while here with the pentacle energy. Knight of Cups, so moving forward in love and communicating love. Hmm. So let's see. Ace of Wands, so fiery passion to begin. And the Page of Cups can be an apology, too, of some kind. So we do have the Ace of Wands, which could be a new idea. It could be something creative, um, an endeavor, project something you know fiery passionate passionate about a new offer um of some kind so we do have the star wishes and dreams coming true divinely guided energy healing and the six of cups a past life soulmate so some of you here um okay i'm just getting here that you know, maybe this long-term relationship you were in, you know, it took a while to build it on solid ground, to build it into what it is today. Even though you still have fights, spats, arguments, maybe sometimes even think about breaking up, but you always get back together because it's a very strong connection here. Definitely soulmate to inflame. Seems like you can always get through, always can get through this um, kind of energy. And over here, I feel like, you know, maybe when this relationship was new, you were building on solid ground. Um, this is a solid energy here of the King of Pentacles and the offer here. So it could have been, you know, fiery, passionate offer from your person or you to them, which led to soulmates here, Six of Cups, soulmates, past life energy, someone maybe you even knew since childhood. Um, but wishes and dreams coming true. This was a divinely guided connection here. So I feel like you built on solid ground. It was, you know, long time coming, slow moving, but it moved forward in love. It's divinely guided. 
kind of energy because this definitely is a soulmate. And now it's saying count your blessings for what you have, even though sometimes you get in this energy here. So that's kind of the energy I'm getting with that. So on the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands. So it's fiery, passionate, uh, action, travel, communication, kind of energy in the Ace of Cups. So I definitely feel like a lot of love, emotions, and feelings between the two of you um, kind of energy in the Queen of Cups. So, you know, a lot of love here and equal give and take between the two of you kind of energy. But some of you just cannot wait for this uh, downtime to be done. I feel like you're done with it, <laughs> Aries. Okay, Aries, uh, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.